guys, it's Denise with Simply Love Soaps, and today we are going to make another essential oil soap. This one I'm going to call Seascape. This one has cedar wood, lemongrass, rosemary, and eucalyptus in it. Um, it smells pretty good. Um, we are going to be coloring it with spirulina and titanium dioxide, which I need to shake that up. We're also going to be doing the heat transfer method. Just shaking that up pretty good. And we have lye water going into the recipe. I already have my soft oils in this because I was originally planning on doing uh, room temperature. But last night I forgot that I needed to make my life solution. So, we're going to be doing the heat transfer method. It does have all my oils in it this time. So it may just take a little bit longer for everything to melt. Just a little bit longer. I hope y'all are having a great weekend. It is Saturday and everyone is gone from the house and I am home. And um, just thought I would come in and make a little bit of soap. I've been watching my Cody Bear. He's not been doing well. He's, um, he's getting up there in age. He's right at around nine, almost ten years old. And um, I went ahead and made him a vet appointment. So this coming Tuesday, I will be taking him to the vet. And hopefully everything's okay. Um, he normally has skin allergies during the spring and summer where he scratches. And he's already starting to do that. It's a bit early for that. But he, I don't know, he's just acting a little odd. So I'm going to be taking him to the vet soon. So I've just been trying to watch him a little bit today. I've done a little bit of cleaning and all that good stuff. So I thought I would come in here and get to making this soap. And I'm excited to be starting this new essential oil soap line that I'm going to be doing. And um, I'm excited to see how well it does. And I hope you guys like it as well. Sorry about that. You hear my cuddy bear barking. I need to grab one cup. I did forget my cup. We're going to go ahead and stick blend this. And I'm going to go ahead and also add in my clay and my colloidal oatmeal. part off for a little bit of white. dioxide just a little bit. I think we finally got the issue straightened out on the volume problems we were having with the videos. So I'm pleased about that. I 
I'm using a different rice bran oil and it's just a little bit more yellow than what I normally use. So I'm not too much caring for it, um, but I was in a pinch and needed some rice bran oil. I'm still waiting for my uh, bulk order that I ordered to come in and um, I'm starting to get a little impatient so I had to run and go grab some other rice bran oil and it's more yellow than what I normally soak with so I don't know how well this is going to turn out hopefully it turns out pretty good so we've got the white and now we're going to add the spirulina we're going to add just a little bit at a time and see how well that goes there. Let's see if I come up with just a little bit more out of that container. I think that will work. Mm, maybe not. Let me go grab some more. Let me grab some more. I'll clean that up in a moment. Oh, there we go. That green's much better. Much better. Just going to set that to the side, clean up my little mess. We're going to add the fragrance oil in, not fragrance oil, but essential oils. I'm so used to saying fragrance oil. Hope this behaves well. Stir that in good. Move that out of my way. I hope you guys can see this okay. this point we are going to start dropping it in Well, sling it, Denise. Okay. So 
Sorry about that. Okay. Let's see what kind of a swirl we can get from that. This is this oil that's on here is from where I just laid that spatula on there a little bit ago. So bear in mind, they have been cleaned. <laughs> All right, let's start filling up molds. does look like it's trying to get a little thick on me, but I did a lot of stick blending, a lot more stick blending than I normally do. Get that over in there. See if we can shake that down just a little bit. There we go. I think that one's got just a tad bit too much. Maybe this one too. There we go. Let's try to wiggle that one around. Take just a smidge out of that one. Put it into that one. There we go. I'm making a mess, of course. As y'all know, I always make a mess. Okay. And we're going to pour these. And this is a two pound batch. This great. Nice. I've almost gotten 14 bars out of a two pound batch. Great. Okay. Just shake that a little bit. Just shake that one just a tad bit. So all wiped up. I think we're good to go. So what we're going to do now is just spray them with alcohol and hopefully it will not overheat. That's why I like using these silicone molds because I am hoping that it does not overheat. So guys, I will bring you back for the unmolding. Thank you. God bless.
Hey guys, it's Denise with Simply Love Soaps, and today we are unmolding the Seascape soaps. These are 100% all natural soaps, and that color turned out so good. They just need just a little bit of cleanup. But look at the swirl. Very pleased with that. These bars look great. The smell, the smell is starting to grow on me more. Um, the scent, I wasn't super super crazy about it, but I did like it. Um, I think once it's gone through saponification and everything, I, I just seem to like it better. This one seems just a bit soft, so I'm going to turn them upside down to try to help. It's been about three days. We've had a lot of rain and the humidity here has been crazy. So I just wanted to give it plenty of time to, you know, gel up or firm up or whatever it's going to do, set up. Um, but it is still just slightly wet on the bottom. But one thing I can tell you is Georgia humidity has kicked in. And once these dry out, I think they will be great. Loving the swirl. And just an update on the Summertime Kisses. It's still smelling great. So, so far that scent of the essential oils has held in. I've had many horror stories that I've heard about where people used essential oil soaps and you know, or used essential oils in soaps and they just did not hold the scent. So, so far, so good. That's why I went ahead and moved forward with the making of this one. And um, hopefully, Lord's willing, we will continue with some great smelling soaps. But the scent is starting to go grow on me. Um, at first I thought, you know, Seascape, maybe I should have done it in blue, but when I smell this, I see the greens and the whites, so I'm glad I did stay with the green and the white. Um, I used spirulina for the green, and the white was titanium dioxide. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching the unmolding and the making of this soap. I hope you guys have a blessed day, and be well.